everybody. Okay, let me just make sure that, oops, got everything working right here. Okay, so I have been asked to do a read on a little girl, 11 years old, who went missing. Uh, let me just see here. Um, missing in North Carolina since November 23rd. Um, apparently, her parents waited three days to report her missing, and she was last seen on a school bus or getting off a school bus. That's, let me just close this over here, you guys, so it's not interfering. Um, so that's what I know about the case, you guys. Um, we're going to do a read on it. Please don't come at me if I mispronounce her last name. I'm really bad with names, but it's Madalena. Jokari, I believe. Please don't come at me if I mis mispronounced it wrong. Um, Spirit knows who we're talking about. This little 11-year-old girl who's gone missing from North Carolina. Um, apparently since November 23rd. And it took her, her parents, like, from what I've been told, like three days or something to report her missing. So we are going to go to the cards. This is my ancestor deck. Um, and see what we can get as to what is going on with this little 11-year-old girl. So I'm going to ask if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button right down here. Hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I do updated reads like this and when I go live. So, we're just going to get the cards shuffled up. I will explain how the read works as we go. So, let me just finish getting the cards cleared here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start. I'm going to ask my ancestors and my protectors, my guardian angels, to please come through and give us the answers that we seek regarding Madalena Korjakari, 11 years old, missing from North Carolina since November 23rd. Please give us any information that you can. It didn't fall, so I'm not going to keep it out. Please give us any information that you can to help us find this little girl, find out what happened to her. Okay, so any cards that come out during the shuffle, I will put to the side. We will read them at the end. They will read like a story and help clear up maybe some things that we don't understand in the read itself. We go out with the initial cards, which is the situation. Then we go in for the messages. Then we go in for clarification on all those cards, okay? So please make, make sure you stick around to the end. Um, if I feel it's needed, we're also going to go, this is my bumper deck. Anybody can make this deck, this bumper deck. This deck, no. This has to be made by your elders for you based on your own ancestors. So you cannot copy my deck and use my deck as your own because it's it's just a disrespect to your own ancestors. Um, your deck, you can make one. I've told people how to make one of these decks. Um, they're based off your ancestors um, and what they've done while they were in the physical world, okay? So it's, it is very disrespectful if you do not respect your ancestors in that way and use them as your guide for your own cards. Um, how I connect with these cards is my own ancestors will show me scenarios based on the card that comes out. As to what it pertains to, they give me information as to how it pertains to the read, how it fits in. I get a lot of information that way from my own ancestors because these cards are based on them. I rely on my ancestors because they have a vested interest in me and they want me to do well. They want me to be as accurate as possible. So that's why it is very important for this deck to be made properly. Okay. Now the bumper deck you can make on your own. Um, this has nothing to do with my ancestors. This is just a bumper deck that I made, okay, to maybe bring out more information on the read as to location and stuff like that. You'll see that if we if we end up having to use that. <clears throat> okay, so let's get going. 
asking my spirit guides, angels, the divine, please help us to get the answers that we seek regarding little missing 11 year old Madalena Cordjokeri. I hope I'm saying that right, you guys, but please don't come at me. I'm trying. Um, North Carolina, last seen getting, I think it was on or off a school bus, November 23rd, North Carolina. Can you please tell us what has happened with Madalena? Okay, those came out, you guys, so we're going to leave them out. Madalena or Jacari. What is going on? What happened to you? Where are you? Where can you be found? What can you tell us about what happened to you? Oh my gosh, you guys. There's a lot of cards that are coming out over there. Okay, so these cards here, you guys, are the ones that come out during the shuffle. We keep them to the side. This is the situation. <laughs> this is the main part of the situation. This is what we need to look into deeper. And this is in the secret position, not yet known, um, not being talked about, not being told, uh, things being kept secret. That's what this position is, okay? We'll get into that more when the messages come out. So right away, I've got that they know. So there's people that know exactly what happened to her, okay? And when I get this in the main, in the first cards that come out are the most important, okay? The rest of the cards that come out help clarify. Uh, just give me a second. Sorry, my cold is almost gone, but you guys don't need to hear that. No coughing allowed. So I believe that... Um, there are people that are very close to her. We'll see what comes out in the messages that know exactly what happened to her. She was in an unsafe position for some reason. We're going to get into that. We will get clarification on that and help from the messages. Also, this was not something random. She was not just kidnapped. She wasn't taken by a stranger. She was specifically chosen. Okay, so let's go into the messages. Messages, please, regarding missing Madalena, 11 years old from North Carolina, last seen getting on or off a bus um, on November 23rd, North Carolina. Madalena Hojakari, 11 years old. That one fell out, so we're going to keep it. Well, it actually flipped over in my hand. So we are going to keep it. Can we please have the messages now for Madalena? Okay. One more? Okay, one more. Okay. explain this now this is the head it connects this way this way and this way this here is the main part of the situation this is the situation this here is going to tell us what we need to know okay this here is going to help clarify everything this is what we need to look into deeper this is the beginning this is the end this is the in-between this here is in the secret position which is either being hidden, not talked about, uh, being kept secret, uh, being lied about, stuff like that in a secret position. So let's start here at the head. There's somebody or somebodies, and I'm going to say somebodies. There's more than one. Keeping this um, off track. They're causing distractions. 
Okay, what are those distractions? We don't know yet. Okay, we'll know more. We're going to get clarification on all this. Then we were going to go into these cards. But I do feel that I have a party of three here. This would be Madalena and this is two other people. Okay, I feel that there's two people that are causing a distraction. So let's start over here. I've got the distraction. I've got somebody who wants to be free of something, somebody who's not being honest, and they know. So there's at least two people that know. <clears throat> I'm sorry for that cough, you guys. I didn't want to mute again there for a second. Um, somebody wanted to be free of something. This is setting yourself free from something. Somebody is causing also a distraction. Somebody is not being honest about this. Hang on a sec, you guys. Okay, took a sip of my coffee. Hopefully that helps. Somebody is not being honest about what they know. Somebody is holding on to lies. I see a lot over here that I want to start talking about. Somebody's not being honest. Somebody wanted to be free of something and they're causing a distraction. And because I got they know and I've got the two over here with Madalena, there's two people that, that know exactly what happened. Now, with what we got to look into deeper, again, this connects. Somebody is causing a distraction here. She was unsafe. So whatever was going on at the time surrounding her disappearance, she was put in an unsafe position. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, you guys. Now, let's bring the moon into it. The moon talks about infidelities, false friends, danger, all kinds of stuff. This is not good. This is bad. Okay? And this is at the end. I've already got that she was put in an unsafe position. And then I got it again here. So even if she made it, say, off that bus to maybe her home, I'm feeling her home, she was still unsafe. Um, there's This stands for a lot of different things, but to me, it's because I've got the unsafe too, she's in danger. Um, and she was in danger. I feel almost like she was being used as a pawn in something. Um, or being used one against the other, um, something like that. Um, but she was unsafe to begin with. Don't forget, this is the in-between. This is the beginning and this is the end. Um, and whatever this unsafe situation is that she was put in, it caught up to her in the end, okay? This is extreme danger. This is falseness. This is false friends, um, infidelities, all kinds of stuff like that that could happen. Lies and deceit, things being covered up. So there's something here. I believe that I'm, I'm seeing her being used as a pawn. But we'll get more into that. That's just what I'm seeing now. We'll wait for all the cards to come out. Again, let's go back here to this distraction. We've got a party here of three. I'm also feeling with this, too, that there was maybe a lot of partying that went on. Where, And I'm thinking this is the home. A lot of partying going on there all the time. But the, there's also two people that are involved with this with her. Okay? Um, I got the feeling over here with being unsafe. I believe she was even unsafe at her own house. Um I'm seeing it here, I'm seeing it here, I'm seeing it there, I'm seeing it over here. Okay, so there's a this is all connecting. Um, I'm getting also that she was thrown away like yesterday's trash. She was specifically picked. So this wasn't a kidnapping, this wasn't something random. She was selected. Um, and I say that with utmost certainty because of what's come out around this okay i believe that this little girl was a pawn in something being used as leverage or something along those lines so now i don't know if this is between the parents or if they put her in an unsafe position there's a lot of stuff that parents are doing now with selling their kids and stuff like that. I'm not feeling that, 
but I'm feeling that she was used in some kind of situation. I'm hoping to God that this wasn't an SA thing. I'm going to know more as we get into this because now I'm going to go for clarification. Right now, I'm going to ask for clarification on the they know, unsafe, and elect. Can you please give us clarification on the they know, the unsafe, and the elect? Can you please give us clarification regarding Madalena, 11 years old from North Carolina? Why did the they know, unsafe, and elect come out? Why are they there? Please give us clarification. There's another one that came out. We'll put, we've got a pile, you guys, over here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. So, let's start here. We're reading it this way this time, okay, you guys? And then we'll go in for up here and then put it all together. They know and the genocide. I do not believe she's alive. I believe that whoever these two people are that did this, they're going to know, they're going to be known to be abusive, um, very controlling, narcissistic almost. Um, I'm feeling there's one more than the other. I feel like because of this moon and that that's there, I mean, I'm being drawn. I'm trying to ignore this up top right now, but I'm being drawn. Um, so I feel like there was a lot of abuse in that family dynamic. Okay. I feel that even um, Madalena could have been injured before. The genocide could also mean that whoever has done something to her has done this before also. But I feel like there was a lot of abuse in that family dynamic to begin with. And I do believe that this is centering around the family. Okay, the unsafe and the celebrate. It's almost like this is telling me that the party, the celebrate. Um, I think that there was a lot of parties that went on at this house. And I'm not saying like, oh, you're turning nine or your birthday party. I'm talking about other types of partying. Um, and this is what put her in the unsafe position. So whatever these these two, and I believe they could be the parents, um, and I don't like saying that, but I'm very much being drawn to that. Whatever these two were doing with this partying all the time and everything, I see it here too. It's almost like, I don't know if maybe they even gave her alcohol or drugs at one time. And laughed at it. I see them laughing at her. Oh my gosh. What I'm seeing. And this is what I mean you guys. My ancestors are showing me something. I'm being shown her being. Either drugged or drunk. So I don't know if. These two people. And I believe it's the family dynamic. I don't know if they gave her drugs. Or alcohol. And laughed at. How she was reacting to it. But I feel also because of this, um, and maybe the people that they had around, but I get a lot of the celebrating and partying. So a lot of, maybe a lot of drinking or drug activity that went on in that house um, really did put her in an unsafe position. But I see them giving her something. It's disgusting. You see this again? There's somebody that's at a distance from her. And I believe she's, this person is also, and I'm getting somebody in blue, so I would think male, that she wasn't either very close to. Um, he's the one that did this. Um, he's the one that chose her. Um, and this also tells me about her being taken a distance. If you can see like the little, this is a male because it's in blue and she's got like a little pink dress on over here. Um, I believe she's been taken a distance. But let's get into the rest of it. Let's get some more clarification on these cards now up here. These are the messages. Okay, so can we ask please for clarification on the messages regarding Madalena, a little 11-year-old that 
that's missing from North Carolina um, with the distraction, the free, the honest, the moon, the partying, and the being thrown away. Can we get clarification on those cards, please? Why are they there? Why are they there, please? Why? What happened to you, Madalena? this distraction and the sadness and crying um i do believe that somebody is one of these two is causing a distraction um and i do believe that this could be the mother um i feel like she was the reasons why she was covering this up or helping to cause distractions is because she was sad and upset about something but i'm not feeling like it's what's happened here i i don't know but i'm feeling it being very disconnected from her daughter um it's almost like i'm getting here too um somebody saying stop somebody wanted to be free of something somebody wanted something to stop so is it that one of these two just wanted her gone and somebody else over here. And that's why I think it's in the family dynamic, these two people. It's like one wanted to be free of maybe the responsibility or free of something. Um, and one just wanted it to stop. But I'm feeling a very disconnect here This with the sadness and crying. I don't feel like it's towards Madalena. It's something else. Okay. So here we are here, okay, with the main part of the situation. Somebody wanted to be free of something. Somebody wanted something to stop. I've got somebody's not being honest and the rain. The rain tells me something popped up. This was, I don't think this was planned. I think something happened on this day and things popped off. I'm getting between these two people a heated, aggressive argument. The fire tells me it could be burning. But I am getting with the party that this is a heated and aggressive argument. So this is where this is coming in. Something popped up. Something happened on the day she went missing. I do believe that these, I believe it's the parents and I believe they know exactly what happened to her. Um, I believe that there's an argument that popped up or an argument over something. Somebody is not being honest about that because it may implicate them. Okay. Um, but I do believe that everything happened over this here. I believe that they were very um, more concerned about themselves. I believe that even Madalena could have been a distraction. Or um, because of Madalena, they couldn't do certain other things. Um, I don't know what that could be. But somebody wanted to be free of it all. Somebody sad and crying over all of this happening, but I don't feel it's towards Madalena. Um, and somebody just wants this all to stop. Go away. Go away. If we just say this, it'll all go away type thing. Um, but yeah, this happened because something popped up. Okay. With what we got to look into deeper here. Again, we got this distraction and sad sadness and crying. And if she is, and I believe this is the mother. If she is doing this sadness and crying, I think it's more of a distraction than anything else. Because I believe they know what happened. These parents know what happened. And I believe the sadness and crying is a distraction. Like, oh my God, what happened to my daughter? Somebody kidnapped her. They're making up lies. They're not telling, they're not being honest. They're not telling the truth. They know exactly what happened. You see this? The water element tells me that either she could have been thrown in water. 
Water also tells me about something being cleaned up with water, but it also talks about deep emotional feelings. And I've got this with the moon. So I am going to go to the bumper deck because this sometimes gives me an area. I want to see if this water element comes in with the bumper deck as to a location. Now, what this also tells me is the moon. Deceit, lies, danger, infidelities, stuff like that. There was something deep and emotional that was going on that put even more danger into an already unsafe situation when it came to Madalena. And you see this, the deep emotions. This was something deep and emotional between the two of them. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was an infidelity or something or somebody in danger. I don't know what that is. But I know that there was a heated, aggressive argument between these two that caused even more danger to present itself. I've also got it was deep and emotional between those two. What the fight was over, I don't know, but I know it was between them and it included Madalena because I got it here. The These fake tears and everything, it's just a distraction. I've also got over here that she was thrown away like yesterday's trash. She's not at rest. Um, and this is an in-between world. So to me, this is good and evil, okay? This is what should be done and what's being done. Um, I got the in-between worlds here which means they're doing whatever they need to do to protect themselves. Um, indecisiveness, stuff like that. Oh my God, what should I do? But they're not choosing the right thing. They, cho they chose, and I believe it's a male that discarded her, um, thrown away like yesterday's trash. And I do believe that she, this guy, she, if this is her real father, she was not close to him at all. Okay, um, but this can also stand for maybe being separated from the real father. I don't know. But whoever this male is that was in her life, in the family dynamic, um, I believe he's the one that chose to do this and he's taken her a distance. And this also tells me that they weren't very close. So let's go into all of the these that have come out. I've got the angel. I've got the grandparents. I've got the neighborhood. Oh, my God. Oh, shoot, you guys. Let me just get these turned around upside right here because I don't read these in reverse. <clears throat> so what this tells me is um, this happened in her neighborhood. So I do believe that something happened to her at home. Um, the people that did this to her are much older than her so this could be the parents this tells me that whoever is involved in this is much older it doesn't have to be grandparents but this card tells me that the people that did this are much older the people involved in this are much older than her that could be the parents and i've also got this angel somebody is projecting that they are i don't know what happened i don't somebody's lying lying bad okay this could be over money could this be over money owed or one of these two owed money? And somebody was coming for it? I don't know. Look at this. I've got a female that's also involved. So the female does. Okay, the female maybe owes the money. And this guy flipped out. The father or the whatever, whoever this other boyfriend, whatever. If it's not the real father, that's that lived with them that could be what the heated aggressive argument was over is the female owing money or not giving money for something but it wasn't for anything good you see this there was a lot of neglect look at this she was murdered um i think people are holding out hope that's what I think this is, but there's a goodbye to the physical world. She's gone. She is gone, you guys. Um, and like I said, I got a lot of that here before these even came out. With She was living in an unsafe conditions. I feel like there was a lot of partying and maybe drugs and drinking going on. I feel somebody owed somebody money. 
because something popped up that day, something that normally didn't happen. Um, so could this have been somebody that showed up to one of these parties or wanted money? Because this is false friends, infidelities, danger. And she was already unsafe. So danger, there was a dangerous element that came into play that day. There was also a heated argument between these two, whether it's the biological mom and dad or boyfriend, girlfriend of the mom and dad, whatever that situation is there. But I do feel it's the male that chose to do this to her and they weren't very close. So I'm assuming this is either a boyfriend or something like that, or I don't know, but I know that they weren't very close and he took her a distance. Um, there's a goodbye to the physical world. And again, I've got like an open, this is like a ladder coming up from say like a basement or something. And you see the blue sky here. Um, I think people are holding out hope, but I think it's all for naught. Um, this female is going to be the key to getting the information. Um, and there was a lot of neglect here and allowed that murder to happen. Okay, so let's go to the bumper deck, you guys. I'm going to see if I can't get any more information from the bumper cards. Okay, any other information, please, that you can give us from the bumper cards to maybe give an area where she could be? Anything else that you can give us? Anything else that you can give us in the area? See, <clears throat> um, she's been taking a distance, but she's still in the area. I got the neighborhood here. And you see this just tossed? See that? Over a fence. So she could have been tossed over a fence somewhere. I got over here too that she was just thrown, tossed away. I believe that she was tossed somewhere. Um, and she's not far. She's still in the area. See, there's the fight. And this is from the bumper deck, you guys. There's this fight I was talking about. There was a huge fight. And this is what resulted in this happening to Madalena. Here's the fight. See, from the area, um, whoever did this here, we got it again here. Um, so this isn't an outsider that came in the person that did this is from the area okay which i'm saying it's right from the home so this is not an outsider that came in and did this like kidnapped her and took off with her that's not what happened the person that did this is from the area jeez um, she's above ground. I got that here also that she's just been thrown away like yesterday's trash. Um, something near an abandoned place. So she's not going to be buried. She's going to be above ground, maybe with just some leaves or, or whatever thrown on top of her, snow, whatever. She's still in the area. She's not far. She's been taking a little bit of a distance, but she is still in the area. And the person is from the same area. OK, and this is after a big fight. And I believe that's the fight that I'm seeing up here between the parents. Um, and I'm getting that it's near an abandoned place. It could even be at this abandoned place. OK, so that is my read. I will go on to the new sites and see what I can get. A lot of places I can't get information, you guys. Because I'm in Canada, we're blocked. We have to pay a fee if we want to read certain papers and that. But I'm going to go and see what I can find out. Whatever I can find out, I'm going to put in the description. Um, but like what I do know right now is what I have here. You can see uh, Madalena. This is her last name. Um, Kojikari, I believe. She's been missing since November 23rd. Missing from North Carolina. Um, I believe the parents, I think. Whoever asked me to do this, um, I think it was three days they waited to report her missing and she was last seen on the school bus. So that's what I got. I'll see if I can get some more. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this case. So I'll try and get as much information as I can and I will put it in the description below this video. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section. Please keep it classy. Um, I know when we're dealing with children like this, um, emotions can get the best of us. All I can tell you guys is what has been given to me 
from my ancestor deck. This is the my go-to deck for first reads on anything. I will be doing another updated read on this. I will be using both tarot and oracle cards to see what else we can get come forward. Um, I'm glad I did now use the bumper deck with this also um, because it's basically confirmed what was set up here. Um, I do believe that she's going to be found in the area. Um, I'm being drawn to um, above ground in the area near an abandoned place or even at this abandoned place. Okay, this fight just just solidified it for me here. Okay, so that is my read. Um, if I don't see you guys before Christmas, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a very happy and safe New Year. Again, please take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Please share this out where you can if you would like to help contribute to the channel and like this read. There's a little heart down here where you can um, help contribute to the channel if you so choose. It's not necessary, but every little bit helps to continue bringing you reads like this. So until the next time, you guys, please stay safe. Love you guys to the moon and back. Bye-bye for now.